Hello, and welcome to Storyboard That. My name is Eric, and today I am going to show you how to do a character analysis worksheet using one of Storyboard That's pre-made templates. So let's get started. Now, first we're gonna pick out a template that we like. Storyboard That has a whole bunch of great options, but I think I'm gonna go with this cat one. Uh, if you watch some of our previous videos, like the character's map or the book jacket, you'll hear me talk a lot about my dogs. I love dogs, but I like cats too, so I'm gonna pick this cat one. So all we have to do is click the copy template button that's right below. And this will bring us directly into the storyboard creator, which will then prompt us to give our template a name. Now you can name yours whatever you would like. I'm just gonna call mine template one and click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize our template. This is where we get to add characters, items, update the text, make any changes that we want. So first I would like to add a character. So I think I'm gonna make a, uh, an older gentleman who is taking care of all these nice cats. So let's go up to our character menu and let's scroll over and find a character that we like. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of great options. I'm gonna go with this character here. So all you have to do is just drag and drop your character into the storyboard. And now we get to customize. This is where we get to update any facial expressions, poses, uh, color, whatever changes that we would like to make. So I think I'm gonna have this older gentleman sitting down in a chair taking care of all these nice cats. So let's get them in the sitting position. Just click update pose when you're all done. And there's our character. Now we can move them anywhere we want in our storyboard as well as resize them. So all we have to do is drag the corner of the image and just stretch. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we have these nice cat paw prints in the way. So I'd like to move these. So just select your item and I'm just gonna drag these over here. I'd still like to have them in the storyboard, but let's just get them out of the way. Now, our character here is in front of the cats, so I'd like them to be all the way behind. Now, a quick way to do that is to go into your right-hand menu, click Send All the Way to the Back, and then Bring Forward Once until you see them. All right, there we go. Now, next is Items. Now, you can browse the Items menu right here, as well as search for any specific items you may want in the upper right-hand search menu. Now, as I said before, I'd like this character to be sitting in a chair, so let's search in the items menu and go under the furniture category. All right, let's go with this chair here. Just drag and drop, just like your character. And there's our chair. Let's resize that so it's, you know, a chair that's gonna be comfortable for him to actually sit in. And that looks pretty good. And just like our character, we're gonna send this all the way back and just bring it forward until we see it. That looks pretty good. If anything, the chair might be a little big, so let's shrink it just a tiny bit. All right, perfect. Now, next is the background. So you can edit any of the pre-existing designs that you have. Just click on your item, and in the right-hand menu, you can change colors. And I think I wanna change the design, so let's just delete the pre-existing one and go pull down our own. So if we go up to our scenes menu, we can search any one of these great options. Now I'm just gonna put in a simple pattern so that's not gonna to be too distracting because we do have a lot of text boxes here that's filling the space. So let's go with this one here and then maybe add a color right behind it. So we have this nice circle. Let's just drag and drop. Now, as you can see, we can see the text in this cutout. So I'm gonna put another layer in after this. But first, I want this to fill the frame. So let's go over to our right hand menu, click stretch to fill, and I'm gonna go with non-proportional. This does warp the image, but that way we can see the entire thing. And since it's a clean circle, I think it's gonna be okay. Just click okay, and we're gonna send this all the way to the back, and there we go. Now I'd like to have a different color other than this white. So let's scroll back over, and let's just grab any one of these solid colors. So I'm gonna grab this yellow, and then we can always change it afterwards. Now, just like our circle, we're going to stretch to fill. You can go with not proportional or crop to fill when you have a solid, it doesn't really matter. Click OK, and there it is. We send it all the way to the back. All right, perfect. Now let's change that. So these two colors don't have so much contrast between them. So let's make this a light blue. And make it a little bit more muted. All right, I think that works and click choose. All right, great. 
Now we have these fun cats everywhere, but I'd like to edit this text and make it a little bit larger. So I'm gonna move these two. So we'll just slide this nice cat over. Let's make them a little bit bigger. They're a little hard to see. And we're gonna do the same with this cat here. And I'm actually just gonna get rid of these directions. So that way I can fit in what I would like. Ooh. So I just moved the circle by accident. So one way you can undo that is just go to your right-hand menu, click Undo, or you can try on your keyboard if you're working on a desktop computer or a laptop, just Command-Z or Control-Z, depending on your kind of computer. So I'm just gonna click that cat again and stretch them and reposition. All right, great. Now, last but not least is text. Now, you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes. All you have to do is select the text box, highlight what you wanna change, and go to your text editor and make the changes. Now, I like this font, but if I wanted to change it, I can just go here and select any one of these great options. But I'd like it to be a little bit bigger. So let's try 60. That looks pretty good. And I like to take this underline out. So just select that. And there we go. And maybe let's change this to something else. Uh, let's go with House of Cats. Great, now let's move this a little bit more. There we go. Now, when you're all done making the changes to your template, all you have to do is click the save and exit button that's in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And that is how you make a character analysis template using Storyboard That. All right, thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.